So welcome back juicers. Today I will gonna introduce my materials and tools for sieving. And by the way, this is my project video for my subject in garments. So I just decided to upload this video for you to know that um, I'm so busy in college right now. And I just wanted to share these tools and materials for CV. And let's don't waste our time juicers. Let's do this. Have fun and subscribe to my channel. Bruce on juicers. for cutting fabrics it is 7 to 8 inches so put your thumbs here and your four fingers right here so cutting shears emery bug this is used to sharpen the dulls, needles and pins and also remove the rust and dust from pins and needles. Taylor's chalk is made of different colors. This is used to mark directly on cloth for seam allowance. Thread. It holds the fabric permanently in matching the fabric. Select thread that is same color as the fabric. This is used to form the hip line and long soft curved lines in making the pattern. Tape measure. It is primarily used in taking the body measurements. And it is used to measure whatever you want. A pin cushion. It is a small stuff cushion. It is typically three to five centimeters like this, which is used in sewing to store the needles and pins. You should stop the needles right here. Like this so that it will keep you safe and by the way you should keep them organized and it is squeezy a thimble this is a thimble as you can see you can use like this it is a small cup worn on a finger like this and it protects from being pricked by a needle while sewing so it is safe for you in sewing so tracing wheel a tracing wheel is also known as a pattern wheel pounds wheel and a dart wheel it has a multiple teeth attached on a wheel like this look at this tracing wheel and this is the handle it is used to transfer markings onto fabric and it can make patterns so thread trimmer lock stitch machines with a thread trimmer finishing sewing partially or in full with automatically trimming the thread the operator does not have to stop the flow of work to change direction of sewing or to cut the thread so thread trimmer so hand needles 
this is a sewing needle used for hand sewing so it is a long slender tool that has a pointed tip at the end and the other side had a small hole like this and simple as that so hand needles so pencil simplify patterning with a quality of a marking pencils so it can be used when you mark lines in your clothes like this and eraser obviously to erase the wrong markings with your clothes so eraser scissors ah it's a joke scissors obviously to cut your clothes your garments and anything you want to cut as long as it's thin so scissors so pattern paper so in sewing and fashion design a pattern is the template from which the parts of a garments are traced onto fabric before being cut out and assembled and patterns are usually made of papers like this pattern paper and meter stick it is a straight edge ruler used to measure length meter stick are often made of wood and plastic like this obviously it is a wood a long wood so be careful not to break this stick so ruler so obviously to measure measurements that you want to measure easy simple as that so ruler so titeron cloth it is a two meters titeron cloth as you can see so it is used to make clothes like this and it is clean and white but not white as my face so titter and cloth so sewing box so uh, my teacher wants me to make my own sewing box so I made a sewing box like this take a look my saving box yeah it's pretty ugly but and I made this on my own with my hard work look at how beautiful it is and cool and awesome and amazing and don't judge my saving box because it is cool and it can't be buy by a money because it is priceless so a sewing box is a container which is designed to hold the sewing equipment and accessories to organize also. So you can organize here your materials for sewing and that's it. My sewing box. French curve. This is a French curve. It is a template usually made from wood or plastic, composed of many different curves. It is used in manually drafting and in fashion designs to draw smooth curves. So smooth curves. Sewing pins. Sewing pins are used to hold fabric together. 
prior to sewing. It will temporarily hold the fabric in place when attaching and cutting patterns or while sewing because they are easy to remove quickly. So, pins. Tracing paper. But instead of tracing paper, I just gonna use this a carbon paper. This is used for tracing patterns. Patterns that what you want. So carbon paper. This is only my alternative ways and I just wanted to use this temporarily. So the last one, this, the thread, the green one and the red one. So this is what I use for sewing. And that's it. Thank you for watching my video.